set. The good news is all your mother's windows are shatterproof thermoplastic. Mm. And what about the security system? Antiquated. Mm, yeah, it's been a while since anyone's used it. Anyway, I did what you asked. Upgraded a couple of the primary cameras, swapped out the smoke detectors for smart models, and here. Oh, this will be great when the agents start showing the place. Good idea. Looks like your mom spent a fortune on the artwork. Yeah, well, at least you love something. <laughs> sure, I can't talk you into putting in a master panel. And the bare bones, remember? At least think about a new router. Take advantage of the fiber. Cell phone service is pretty spotty out here. Yeah, like you said, antiquated. Oh, before I forget, a little late, I know. That's so sweet, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I know it's not an easy drive. Yeah? I'm more worried about you being alone all the way out here. Well, it's just until I get everything sorted out with Robert. Yeah. It really breaks my heart to see two of my clients separate. Especially two of my best. I've known Robert a long time. I can honestly say I've never seen him as happy as he was the day he married you. A lot can change in five years. It can. Oh, hey. If you do speak to him, let him know I'm still waiting on that piece for that camera you ordered. Mm -hmm. For the back gate at the Malibu house? Sure. And if you don't mind, maybe Najima bought the last invoice? Oh, I, I didn't realize he hadn't paid. I'm sure it just slipped his mind. Probably.
Hello? Yeah, I, I don't really have good cell service out here. What's this I hear about you moving out? Robert. I thought we were going to talk about this when I got back from San Francisco. Yeah, we are. Well, then why is Nadia texting me that you're packing the car? I, I just, I need some space, some time to think, okay? So what, you're at your mother's now? Yes. I have to fix it up and get it ready to sell, and I figured I would just... Stay out here for a little while. What's a while? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. I'm your husband and I care about your safety. And I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. You know, in fact, between my mother and you, I'm actually looking forward to having a little independence for once. At least let my office get you a room at the Seasons. I'm not having your office book me a damn room. Well, I'm not comfortable with you staying out there. There's nothing for you to worry about. I had Saul upgrade the security system. Look, at least let me take the room, okay? This way you can stay in Malibu until we had a chance to talk it out. Come on, please. You act like one conversation is going to magically solve everything. No, I'm not... That's not what I'm saying, Heather. Look, I'm going to be late. Can we just talk about this when you get back? Okay. Talk to you then. Babe. I've done what a good little girl from Calabasas is supposed to do. Go to the right school. Marry the right man. When did I stop being a wife and start being something pretty to show off at parties? Maybe you always were, you just didn't realize it. Right. You still have your spousal duties. Insurance addendum? Well, you don't get to be an investment manager at his level without being meticulous. You know, I had my own interior design firm. I had six people working for me. I had contracts with some of the biggest architects in LA. And I'm sure that they will jump at the chance to do it again. That's what I like about Joshua. He encourages me to be my own person. Uh-oh. What? Okay, listen up. As your lawyer and as your best friend, I am going to give you some very important advice. Easy, I'm still paying you by the hour. This one you get on me. Whatever you're thinking of doing, don't. It's not like we're sleeping together. An affair of the heart that's even worse. I'm just happy that someone understands me. Then he will understand that he has to wait. I wish you didn't have to take so long. I did tell you this could be a process. You did. Let me remind you that in your prenup, if you are unfaithful, you Robert doesn't even know the meaning of the word nothing. And I don't need to remind you how much his hedge fund is worth. I don't care about any of that. My mom's art collection is worth more than enough to support me for a little while. Even so, I would rather you get it than the next ex Mrs. Lockwood. <laughs> Look, hang in there, okay? We'll get through this. Thanks. Hey, are we still on for lunch on Tuesday? Maybe I should invite Joshua. <laughs> See you Tuesday. Okay.
Somebody here? Street. No one saw me. You want some coffee? <sighs> Come on. It's been a couple months. When are we gonna finally stop sneaking around? Joshua. Heather. All right. So I, I I know I'm not perfect. I've made a couple mistakes. All right. Maybe maybe a lot of mistakes, but they're in the past. And guess what? Tomorrow. Six months being sober. And believe it or not, you had a huge role in that. Because you make me want to be a better man. Mm. Wow. Al. So, I want to be honest with you. Uh oh. I'm going to divorce Robert. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but it's done. I'm going to stay here while they fix it up and. I'm gonna get a place of my own. <sighs> wow. Yeah. I, that's. I, I don't. I don't even know. Heather. Can we please talk about this? Come on, where'd you go? <sighs> Heather, can we just talk? Come on. Where'd you go? Can you please just come out? Can we talk? I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. Can you just please come out so we can talk? Please? I'm not gonna do anything to you, Heather, come on. Hey, hello? Someone up there? Hello? Hello? Joshua? 
Joshua. Are you in here?
911, what's your emergency? There's an intruder in my house. Are you in the house right now, ma'am? Yeah, I'm hiding. Please, please, I think he killed my boyfriend. Is he armed? He's trying to kill me. Okay, okay what is your address? I'm 40, Pine Canyon Drive. Okay, the local police are sending a unit right now. They should be at your residence within 10 minutes. <sighs>
over. We met back in March at a bar I used to go to in college. Robert could be so controlling. And then along comes this easygoing musician. It's like he didn't have a care in the world. As long as he had a place to sleep and his guitar, he was the happiest person on the planet. I don't know. Maybe I was frustrated. Maybe, maybe I was drunk. I, I don't know. I... Six arrests. Disorderly intoxication, disorderly conduct, aggravated battery. A bar fight downtown a couple years ago. Yeah, he, he told me all about it. He did six months in county. He, he was getting himself together. He, he got sober. I just can't believe he would do something like this. Just seeing him, seeing him down there, lying so still. It all happened so fast. I just... It looks like he fell trying to climb down a balcony. A detective. My client has been through a lot. Is there any way we could do this at another time? Of course. Hang in there. Heather, I got here as fast as I could. A, a detective told me what's going on. Is it true you knew this guy? Um, I... You know what? It's been a long night. Why don't you two discuss this later? Of course. Why don't you come back to Malibu with me? You can, you can stay in your own bed. Listen, listen, Nadia made up the sofa for me in the study. You can have the bedroom to yourself. Is that what you want? Look, I've already told her she can stay at my guest house as long as she needs. What she needs, Ellen, is to be with her husband, okay? Well, I think she's capable of making that decision on her exactly. own. Exactly, Ellen. Let her decide. Heather? Let's go. Yep. Come on. Heather. A few words. Yeah, sure. This way. <sighs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Pretty strong stuff. I haven't even taken any. I can't even imagine what you're going through. Yeah. You know, you can stay here as long as you want, right? There's no rush. Your mom's house isn't going anywhere. No, I suppose not. So I was thinking if you wanted to, you know, get some fresh air. Maybe we could go for a ride. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. 
I'll, uh, I'll go look for my spare saddle. <laughs> Take your time. Thank you. Always. Love you. Wow, they're beautiful. Um, Hope you don't mind, I just wanted to see how you were doing today. Just taking it one minute at a time. Of course. Did you have a chance to look at the video? We did have time to review the footage from the cameras. And? There was only one intruder. Right. It's curious that he seems to know exactly where the cameras are. I know. Did Joshua spend a lot of time at your mother's house? Not really. Um, he'd come by that afternoon. And for how long? An hour, hour and a half. And you were with him the whole time? Um, not the entire time. Had Joshua had a chance to case the house, see where the cameras were? I guess it's possible. Do you think he could have hacked in? Maybe. But the login records only show two accounts, so not likely. Wait. Two accounts? You gave Robert access to the cameras in my mother's house? I just assumed it was the usual account. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. So, so Robert could have been watching me this entire time? Theoretically. Oh my God. I, I, I don't know what you want me to say. I, I... I made a mistake. It's just everything that I've ever done has always been under his name. Yeah, of course it was. Look, I changed the settings, and, and I promise no one but you has access from now on. And obviously, I won't charge you for the work I did on the house. If there's anything I can do to make this up to you. I have to go. I have another call. OK. Hello? Is this Heather Lockwood? Speaking. I'm calling from the Golden Gate Plaza Hotel in San Francisco. I'm calling in regards to a Robert Lockwood and his recent stay with us. Yes. I apologize for the inconvenience, but it seems we failed to authorize Mr. Lockwood's credit card for incidentals when we checked in, and we do have a number of room service charges. Oh? The young woman who checked out on his behalf wasn't able to pay, so I'm calling the number on file. <sighs> right. Of course. Let me just get that number for you. Out of curiosity, when was it this young woman checked out? Uh, this morning. But well, we did attempt to reach out to Mr. Lockwood directly, but he had the Do Not Disturb engaged for the past 48 hours. So no one actually saw Mr. Lockwood since Thursday night? No, ma'am. Why? Just explain to him that the market won't bear more than 10% and then see if you can't get him to do a put option. Heather. <laughs> Give us another place. Hi. Hi. Something wrong? No, everything's everything's fine. I, I was gonna call you to see how you were doing. You look so rested. You're doing better. Hey, have you heard anything from the detectives about their suspect? Just that they had a chance to look at the video. And? It was him. Joshua, you said his name was? Mm. Heather, a man with his kind of history, you have to be much more careful. Do you understand? Yes, I know. Hey, I wish you would consider coming home. Actually, I have. And? I'll be there tonight. Really? Mm-hmm. But I want us to take it one day at a time, okay? Of course, of course. Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, why? It's just... It sounded like your trip didn't go like you planned. And Saul said there's an invoice you didn't pay. That's not like you. Come on. Saul, please. Okay, I've got some 
heavy hitters that are looking to cash out. Some pretty big redemptions, but it's nothing I can't handle. Come on. Yeah, right. Of course. And we have all night to talk about this, and I don't want you to worry about it. Thank you. Can I get back to work? Of course. It's late at night. Can't wait. Hey. Love you. I'm home. Heather? Sushi tonight, what do you say? What's the name of that place that flies the fish in fresh every day from Tokyo? Let's do that tonight. Where'd you come from, huh? Oh, shh, don't talk. It, it's some pretty strong stuff they gave me. What's, what's happening? Uh, uh. <sighs> what did you do? Don't strain yourself. It'll only make it worse. You know, I, I went back and looked at that little insurance addendum you sent over. The one that was so important for me to sign. I have to say, it was very educational. For example, did you know that double indemnity means that you get double the payout if your spouse dies in an accident or murder? <laughs> of course you did. You're the one who added it. Your wife, tragically murdered in the middle of a home invasion. <laughs> Suffice it to say, it would have covered your fun quite nicely. I have to admit, it was a pretty good plan, actually. Go out of town on business, establish an alibi, and then simply uh, drive back from San Francisco uh, early. Well, as far as anyone knows, you're still in your room, uh, 400 miles away. All you had to do was make sure the cameras caught enough footage of you wearing your scary mask. Uh, 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 
Oh, don't worry. I made sure to properly uh, thank Saul for giving you access to the system. Heather. Heather. Shh. You don't have much energy left. I wouldn't waste it trying to lie if I were you. You know, leaving your girlfriend behind to check out of the hotel, that was a nice touch. Of course, you should never forget to put your card down for incidentals. Because otherwise, they'll just call your wife. So you've got your alibi. You've got your home invasion. Now all you needed was someone else to take the fall. Literally. Preferably, someone who already had a record. And I'm sure a man with your resources wouldn't have any trouble digging into someone's background. Of course, the one thing you hadn't counted on was the police coming so soon. So running out of time, you had no choice but to carry out your plan before you could finish me off. considered uh, I'd say it was a pretty clever plan uh, so clever in fact that I hope you don't mind but I borrowed it what did you do what did you do uh, uh, turns out funnily enough um, double indemnity it also covers accidental prescription drug overdoses did you know that yeah I could see how you would make that mistake. Being as though these bottles, they look so much alike. <laughs> a tragic, but uh, completely understandable accident. Oh, and I made sure to come in through the back gate, so if anyone checks those cameras, I was never here. Goodbye, Robert. He's not breathing. I just, I, I came home and I found him lying on the floor. Okay, okay, I'm sending paramedics to your location immediately. Do you have any idea what might have happened? I don't know. There's, there's a bottle here. He might have taken the wrong medication. Oh my God, please, please hurry. 